Huh? Actually, it was the arm. You're just gonna drop that on the arm like that? Yes, sir. You want to keep that down and use hand tools like everybody else? <laughs> Must be nice having an aluminum radiator. What's that like? It's pretty sweet. It's pretty, yes, it's pretty sweet. It's quite nice. Hey, right, Valentine's Day is coming up, sir. My car's done. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't be done if you had a new radiator. Yeah, or a blower, your car would not be done. You'd be like, all right. I'd rather have a blower than an aluminum radiator. <laughs> well, you yeah, might need yeah, an aluminum it radiator. <laughs> what color is the engine going? I don't know. Whatever color you buy. Mm -hmm. What color is that master cylinder going? Black. <laughs> Better get some acid brushes. Yeah. Do we have any paint for that? Do we have the rust oleum in the in can? A, no. No, just buy some of that black caliper paint that you brush on. Mm -hmm. Or if, I guess you could try some rust oleum. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty rusty. <laughs> Darren could probably send us some good how to rust oleum videos. That last one he sent was pretty funny. I didn't show you that. Guy's trying to get rich off of telling people how to paint their car with rust oleum. Hey, you painted a car with rust oleum? Oh, well, technically it was a truck. It was a truck. Yeah. It was flat. It looked pretty sweet. It didn't look good. Funny, there was a few comments about me being a slave driver to Jim out in the garage. I don't know if those guys realize that's his truck or not. <laughs> yeah, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they do. <laughs> They're like, why is Jim inside your house and not out in the garage all covered in dust? <laughs> that's funny. I'm covered in antifreeze. Shutting down the body shop and we're opening mechanic shop. Yep, body shop shut down. All the dust blown out of this side. Jim's got a new engine hoist. Just gotta get this fender out of here. That fender over there out of here. This is only a one week project. This will be out of the garage next weekend. That's just what Jim said. I'm going off of his words. Yep. So as long as Angel can buy some paint for the engine yep. and some gaskets. Are you going to do the gaskets? I need it on there because I'll pull the water pump off. We might as well. Okay. I'll leave the radiator in and pull it. This was going to be just a quick scuff and shoot, <laughs> but now it turned into an installer of gear drive. Reinstallation. It's never been in this engine. But I used that one. Yep. And now it's in the cupboard where it belongs. Hey, hey now. That doesn't work, sir. I'm not gonna it looks pull like that's pump off yet. Looks like you got the wrong size there. <laughs> well, maybe we should leave that on there just in case they don't have the gasket. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> Water pump? Well, bye bye. Might as well order up a, one of those nice aluminum water pumps. <laughs> Whoa! So this is getting me an expensive project. <laughs> I, I did the most expensive part of the project. You, you did. The headers, yes. Yeah. No, I'm paying Jim to do all this. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, can you work off the Chris? I'm kidding. I'm kidding, you've done a lot. You've done a lot. Mm. 
and you're forgetting about the paint job on his truck. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's gonna go get estimates on how much that would cost when it's all done. <laughs> We're gonna go ask Charlie, Charlie Hutton, how much she charged to paint and body work that truck. <laughs> He's the guy that used to be on Boyd's show, painter. He's got his own shop now somewhere. Idaho. Yeah, yeah Idaho. Really wish you'd keep painting in the driveway. Yeah, sometimes you gotta go. <laughs> so Darren said he's gonna call me today on his video this morning. Nope, I haven't missed any calls. Weird. He's busy. He's busy. I'm busy too. Mm. Yep. <laughs> What's that? What, what prep is involved in oh. painting the engine? Um, you Maybe. sanding it for a couple hours? Okay. okay. I didn't necessarily add that in to my dump up. Sir, this will be, she'll be out here sanding tomorrow night. Lots of red scotch bright, lots of, you know, I don't know what, 180 grit. Uh, heat's probably all gone. You'll probably have to make your own heat. <laughs> yeah. gotta have some hot hands. Put in some gloves. And it's gonna have to next day air a alternator bracket. So we're definitely not reusing this thing. Uh, this is from her old engine that had no accessory holes. Because it had the old camel humps. Hey, what are you doing for an alternator bracket? Am I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you gonna drill some accessory holes in there? <laughs> Yeah. But if not, I was thinking about making a bracket that bolts it to the headers, but then bend around the head. Mm. And yeah. Thread it just like there's a bolt hole there. Hmm. Yep. Heads without accessory holes. What do you do? Well, that's it for now. Um, yep. Hey look, Darren, it's air cooled now. <laughs> oh man, got a brake light out. Yep. Except you got a brake light out. What's up with that? Check this or what? Like you don't push the brake pedal and try to run back there and see if it works? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there cool thing works pretty good. Yeah. Those Germans were on to something. That's right. Say such a thing. Can you give me the half inch socket over there? Uh, right, the one next to the one that's missing, right? Yep. Thank you. We're just drilling and tapping out the uh, dipstick tube for a uh, new style of locking, you know, dipstick that threads in that way. When you have excessive crank rate pressure, it won't blow your dipstick out. Now you need a hammer too. You might want to talk to the person that's not doing the videotaping, which is the most important job. Oh, sir? Oh, you just snapped it off in the block, just like the last. Did you even put that in? <laughs> 
right, you never put that in last time because you thought we were going to take it back apart. <laughs> and you're right. We are taking it back apart. Oh, you didn't take the sender out. Great. Sir, I'm doing my job. I took out seven header bolts and one spark plug. Was Angel doing her job? She was going to undo the collector bolts down there, but I guess you can do that. To, I guess we need to jack it up. Torque converter bolts, you know, stuff like that. Jim's going to do the motor mount bolts here. Well, sir, I'm trying. I thought you already had it positioned. Sir, I'm, I'm going underneath that thing. There, I thought, thought we blew all the antifreeze out in the driveway for the neighbor's dogs. Alright, this is some great footage. I just want that to hit you in the face. It's going to be a shut my face moment. Uh, i going to open my face. Yeah, break your face. I'm not taking you to the hospital if that happens. Just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to have to suffer. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to drive yourself. <laughs> Maybe Jim will take you. <laughs> I'm only taking you halfway. <laughs> you have to walk together. Uh, I told you you should have listened up. Get out and walk and think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure uh, to make some sweet ground wires like this one, if you can see. Very sweet. What's what's wrong with that one? Nothing. It's sweet. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. It's an often overlooked thing. Oh, I see. Especially when your battery's in the front. I didn't happen to mention that it's hot in here. <laughs> you can probably turn that down or off if you want, sir. Oh. So I think it's cold right now is my feet. <laughs> oh, no. Ow. Can we jack the car up higher, please? Well, as soon as you get those bottom bolts, we can let her do you want me to get underneath the car? The bottom walls or the top ones? The bottom. See the bottom three. The bottom two. three? The bottom two of me. Take the very bottom two and then move it back down. I can't find it. Whoa. 
and wrenches on it. You're gonna hurt yourself. Well, this hood hinge just happens to be in the perfect spot to be in the way. Yes. Somebody apparently didn't want the transmission falling out. We're leaving the transmission in there. Yep. Oh. Makes sense. I'd feel a lot better if you zip tied that down, sir. Only be a couple more minutes. Only be pinned after I slip off of it. <laughs> and break my face. Then I'll leave one inside. And then I'll slip off of the fucking hood in. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> and then, then you could call in sick tomorrow. Sure. Call in her tomorrow. Almost got it, sir. That looks like fun right there. Well, oh man, I'm gonna need that back. Somebody. See what the hell is going on. Apparently, this is what's going on. I told you to go inside and change. I wasn't gonna do any work. I want the parts. Isn't that enough? Nope. You have longer arms than I do, and you have a lot more upper body strength to get the bolt. Oh, it's so easy on that brand new starter. That's well, brand new. <laughs> so I need to buy the new starter too. <sighs> Somebody does. Okay. Let me guess who it's going to be. <laughs> 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 that means they're going to eliminate the white or yellow wire. Oh, is that right? I don't think they're going to be up there. It could be. <laughs> yep. We'll be back later for some more excitement and fun times. 